Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. Today, we are going to finish the house, among other things. Are you ready? I hope so. I'm ready. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to finish the house, at least the outer structure of it. We'll take care of interior decorating and landscaping a little later. But for now, let's get out of F5 mode and then we'll put back on the armor. And then what we can do is just take a quick look around to see what people have built. You see this lovely building right here. This the architecture is it's beautiful. Basket did this. He is he's an amazing builder. No, actually, this is a temporary villager breeder that he set up so he can try and get a mending villager. And it's raining right now. I get kind of worried getting around these skeleton horses when it's raining. But over here, you can see we've got the town hall coming in, and that is from Albanacker. So feel free to go check out his channel to see how that progress is coming along. And then Brahimic over here with the windmill. Then up on the hill, back behind that nether rack uh, outline right there, is Ballantyne. And then over here with the birch is Miss Lapis Lori with the house on the hill. But this nether rack structure and all of this nether rack dotted around is also from Basket. He's planning out the railroad and road transport system. So lots of good stuff going on, lots of activity, lots of excitement. Ooh, and some lag. But, but yeah, lots of people have been on the server. Even right now, we've got, uh, let's see, Teal Lone Wolf and his camera account. Djibouti Dan, a new Hyper Miner, Actor Vink, and Basket, all online. And yeah, so what we're going to do is finish up, or at least a little bit of the house. One of the things that I forgot last time was to put in a door. So we'll do that. Make it look a little bit more finished, even though we're still getting rained on. Let's get rid of that too. And then on the back, I realized that I made a mistake. And I'm going to have to pay for it with wasting that glass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that offends some people. But there we go. We needed a back door. There we go. You know what? I've decided I don't want these anymore. Somebody else has been harvesting them. And that's fine. I don't mind one bit. But I don't want the 4x4 anymore. We've got plenty of spruce for the time being. So let's put that up there. Next order of business, we can put away that door. And we're going to bring in some spruce logs. Going to finish out the interior ceiling a bit. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. And how about one right here also? And then one right here just to make that seem a little bit better for what we're about to do. And maybe one right there. I don't know, this has not really been planned. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see. What we're gonna do is bring in oak for the top floor, for the flooring itself, and drop down in that hole. And what, what the point is here, is to give a little bit of a sense of depth right there so it gives a slightly different height on on the ceiling from the first floor let's bring that back i should get a better axe but um, you know it's still early in the game and i don't have my enchanting on and it's it's kind of painful at times hmm <laughs> i don't know i'm not sold on it I'm not sold on it. In my test world, I've got full oak planks. So that might be... Maybe we just have the one here in the middle. And then on the outside, we'll go with the spruce logs. We'll see how that goes. I can't say that I'm sold on it. i got to be honest. But you know what? We'll try it. And... We'll see where it goes from there. All right. Uh, next order of business is we need to actually get onto the roof. So let's just knock a hole right here. And we don't have sufficient torches down here. 
came in here earlier and got ambushed by a skeleton. Let's throw down the dirt and then I'll show you a little bit of what we're doing for the roof, or not the roof, the second floor wall design. Let's come over here. And once again, we're gonna use the spruce as, as kind of our skeleton right there. Uh, you know what, I can get that in a little bit. And then we'll come over here. Once again, spruce like so. And then like that. All right, so that's to give you a quick idea of how that's gonna go. And then we come in with some diorite. And the reason why, you'll see in a moment once we take a step back, take a look at it. And I should have brought glass up, but oh well. Put a torch just to keep things nice and nice and safe up here. So let's drop down and step back and take a look at it. Maybe from over here. We'll see how that comes in. Okay, so that's that's not too bad. What we're doing there is bringing in kind of the Tudor look that you see. Oh, well, I can't. I I don't know what what era or what year it really started, but. I know it's it's at least 16th century. It may have been earlier, but you see it a lot in quote unquote um, medieval Minecraft builds. They they like to do the Tudor look. You can use white wool as well, but I don't like the texture on white wool. And I think this slightly mottled, dirty look fits really well. So that's what we're going to do all the way around the house. So let me take care of that. That you now have kind of an idea for it and then we'll take care of the roof detail when we get back, all right? Oh, hello, chicken. Goodbye, chicken. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm just giving you a quick tour as I walk about to show you how this is coming together. And nighttime is upon us once again, but I'm gonna throw in some more details here, then we'll go back inside and take a look from in there and me hopefully hopefully get started on the roof so you can see how that's going to come together there we go there we go uh, one more here and then let's go inside i've turned off multiplayer chat we've got a few people online and they might be talking i'm missing it if they are let's throw down some torches so we don't get ambushed later and they might actually sleep as well we got the 1.9 one bed sleep system. I think I told you that in episode one, but here we go. We're going to drop down here and hopefully I can do this. Yep. There. Since we're already one and a half up, we can just drop down, take care of this little detail. Brings a little more visual interest. Again, the, the point here, this is not functional at all. I got to be honest with you. These little details. I normally would not care about them, but they do make the build look slightly better. It breaks up the monotony. Again, that's that's half the battle here in with building in Minecraft. Is just break up the monotony of the blocks. Uh, differ the, the textures a bit. Differ the, the different layers a bit. If you can break up that block using something that has a smaller hitbox, do it. And that's kind of what we're doing here. And all the way around, let's see. That was basket, so we'll get we'll get this guy. Look at him. He's pathing towards me. Their pathing is a little bit different. They used to would focus on villagers. So we've got a bunch of villagers over there, and they sometimes focus on them, but if I am in line of sight, they focus on me. And he's gonna start burning here soon. Maybe we'll take care of him. Front door? What do you think? We got a little bit of lag going on. Okay, there we go. So you gotta be careful sometimes. Alright, so let's step back a little bit and take a look at these details. There you go, what do you think? So we're again breaking up the the hard angles of of those corners right there. Just a little bit. I think, you know, I like it, but uh, I'd love to know what you think. But what we need to do now is get working on the roof. And this might be a little bit more difficult for me to do uh, while talking to you. 
Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. I, I, I put in the roof here. Instead of going with the slabs, I just came in with the regular oak blocks. And, oh, let's shut the front door. And uh, just, just to get rid of some of the confusion there, I think what I was going for with the different different layers might um, it might be better in a larger build but this one just is not big enough for me to to carry that that uh, detail especially once you get right here next to the stairs I don't know you know I could try let's see let's knock this out right here is this the one no this is the one right here let's see what this does real quick and if it works, then we'll bring back in the slabs. Oh, the slabs just... I don't know. I didn't care for those so much. And then what we'll do right here is have a pillar like so. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It takes up a lot of room here. That's the other thing. We, we're going to have to fit a kitchen, a pantry, and then a bedroom in here as well. You know, minor stuff, not, not big, not tons of decorating, but we are going to have to fit all that in here. So, yeah, maybe we'll just leave that alone for now. And let's get up to the roof and see if we can work this out. I need that. Oh, I already had a staircase here. We don't need these or these. Let's bring back in some stone brick slabs and stone bricks. And don't need the shovel. And we'll bring in some spruce wood stairs. Okay. And maybe some spruce logs. All right. So we should be good here. Let's come up, say three. Let's see how that works. Taking a look at my screenshot here. <laughs> Let's see, we'll go out with, hopefully I get this, this correct, but we, you know, we'll see, we'll see. What we need to do is maybe come out with the spruce slab. No, 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 right here is fine, right here. And then we'll come out one more on this side and then go in with the spruce stair right here and then stone brick stair here and then I hope this is correct what we'll do is a little bit just take care of a little bit of this and then we can take a step back and see if it is in fact what we're trying to go for a little block placement error there come across like so with the spruce stairs the reason why i'm using stone textures and the spruce textures is to kind of break up that pattern a bit it's all stone textures i did try that initially it did not look so good and then once again we'll come over here with some of the stone brick slabs hopefully that's what what I want and you're like well, so didn't you do this yes I did this but it, uh, it was in my creative test world and it's kind of hard just going from screenshots all the time well, why don't you build on on screen just do it straight up on screen well there's a lot of hemming and hawing and I don't know how much I mean, I've got a lot of hemming and hawing just copying the thing, much less doing the design. And then up here, um, let's try that. And then we'll come across with some of the stone brick slabs up top. And yeah, so we'll do that drop down. I didn't mean to go through there, but hey, I've got some feather falling on my boots. So there we go. I should have put some backing in there. Let's go do that real quick. Yes, I left the front door wide open. I was not born in a barn, contrary to what my parents might have asked me when I was younger. And I was leaving the door open. But let's throw... Uh, 
this, 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 like so. Is that what we want? It might be, it might not be. Let's take a look again, step back and see if you like it. Um, <laughs> the top detail I'm not sold on right there. I, I would zoom in, but I don't have Optifine installed. Although reportedly Optifine is available for 1.9 now, which is great. That's very, very good. No, up these stairs. And we'll come back in with the spruce. And I've got to hurry up. I don't know how long this episode is getting, but I have not told you the overall plan. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The overall plan for uh, my, my big project. So we got to get this done. And then maybe I won't finish the roof quite yet. I can do that at a later time. Let's do that. Knock this one out. And you'll see what I'm trying to get here. Yeah, like so. And not what I wanted. And let's come up here again. Maybe I should put a little roof on, huh? Like so, like so, and so. Same same deal here. And then we'll jump, drop down. OK. Let's go take a look at this and see if that's kind of what we're going for. If it is, awesome. If not, then we'll back to go back to the drawing board. Okay, so you kind of see what I'm going for here is an inset detail. So there's a little bit of a shadow there in the roof line, and that that skeleton, the spruce, the spruce log sets out from the spruce planks. So it's kind of what I'm going for. I think we'll leave that as is. And then what I will probably do in the interest of time is take care of that the other part of the roof off camera. But let us let me check the time on the video. And then if it's not enough time to get the roof done, then we'll just go over to spawn and talk about what we're going to do. All right? Back in a bit. Well, I looked at the time and I figured I had enough time in the video to show you the roof and so I finished that off so you can kind of see the outline here what I wanted was kind of that it's like an exponential curve I want a very shallow curve here at the bottom and then tapers into a really steep curve up at the top so there we go and we're doing the same thing as we did on the front kind of insetting the roof detail a little bit so we get a little bit of a shadow there but for the most part, I believe that we are done. I'm just taking a look here all the way around and it is hard to see. So we'll have to kind of step back on this side of the river to uncharted territories. And we'll take a look there. You can see that we've got some torches hanging out on the roof because there is a top side block there and that means it's spawnable. And I don't know how to get rid of that, so we'll have to keep the torches there for now until we figure something else out. If I was to bring in a stair, it would ruin the, the profile a little bit. So I don't know, we'll have to figure that one out. And I've also got torches littering the inside. But what we're gonna do now is head over to the spawn chunks that way. So I will meet you over there. You know, with the new boat mechanics here in 1.9, I find it a lot more relaxing to just keep the camera in this third third person mode. Really like that. So we'll come over here. We're in the spawn chunks. Let me just show you that real quick. Okay, we'll get out of the boat there. Probably should have gotten closer to land. Let's turn off the third person mode. Okay, and let's come up here and I'll show you kind of what we are looking at. So here at spawn, we've got kind of this mountain peninsula type deal going on. TO has been kind enough to mark the world spawn point. We don't have access generally to the seed. Uh, TO and Lapis, I believe, do have access to that, but they're not sharing it with us. We're, for the time being, we're going to be doing the exploration and, and all of that fun stuff on our own without using or going to amidst or anything. So uh, I've had to wait on that. So now that I've got that, I can map out the spawn chunks 
And we're going to be getting to that here soon. The reason why is that here at Spawn, we need to build an iron farm. And that's going to be my job. That's the big project I'm taking on. So everybody has been uh, kind of divvying out project tasks and stuff. That was part of the map reset discussion. So I have volunteered for the iron farm. And so we're going to be doing that here. So I've got to figure out where exactly I'm going to put that. Don't know quite yet. And I don't want to completely level everything around here. The reason why is that it is a nice area. So uh, I want to keep the terrain as much intact as possible. But we are going to have to keep in mind something else for the future. And that is a passive mob farm. So um, what we're going to do eventually with that is to convert all of the grass blocks in the spawn chunks into something that doesn't spawn passive mobs like that sheep right there and we'll have to kill all of them here as well but that's going to be for the future for now i have been i've kind of just you know set up a little base here so let's go down we're at mining level let me show you kind of the mining technique i'm using so I did this a couple of servers ago, we're doing something called feather mining, where you've got this mine shaft here, they're 12 apart, and then you go down each one and every two blocks you, you knock a hole like this as far as the pick can go. And if you see anything interesting, you just drop in there and take a closer look. So nothing so far, but this has the effect of showing showing a fair amount of, of stuff per... There we go, we got some iron, so that's good. And then if you do find something interesting, you just drop in and get it. So there we go. Is that as far as the pick can go? Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's how you do that, and that's what I'm doing down here. I've gone 128 in that direction, and each of these goes 128 in that direction. So I'll be mining for a little while just to get the diamond stores up. Still waiting on a Fortune 3 pick, so... That's why I've brought this down here, and you can see... Well, I didn't bring it. I set it up, so I didn't steal it from Spawn. The one at Spawn is still there. I, I made this myself, so uh, no worries there. I've got a little auto fisher here, and let me show you the fishing rod I've been using. It's got mending on it, which means that every time I catch a fish, the XP heals the, the cost back up. So I pretty much have that, that fishing rod forever. Let me show you some of the stuff we've gotten. We've got another fishing rod here. It's just Unbreaking 3. And we've gotten a Mending book and a Frostwalker book. I'm still hoping for Fortune 3. Everybody else is excited about Mending. I'll put Mending and Fortune 3 together. We'll put that on a pick. And we will be set unless I lose it in a fiery death. So, or or just, just lose it. So anyway, this is uh, kind of what I've been doing down here. So I will be going AFK a lot to get those books and I'll be mining and then, well, we'll be getting the iron farm started. But that's all I've got time for, for the time being for this episode. So we've gotten the house done or at least the outer structure. We still got interior decorating and landscaping to do. We'll get to that. Don't you worry. But the big thing that everybody really is looking forward to is an iron farm. So I am going to get working on that. I'm not sure how I'm going to split that up for video, but um, but yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll see how that goes. We might have some caving episodes or or mining challenges or something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But we will get that iron farm done here soon. But thank you so much for joining me today. It means a lot. I know you could be spending your time elsewhere, but uh, thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Okay. Bye bye.